It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. <laughs> Guys, great news this week. The CDC announced that fully vaccinated people no longer have to wear masks or socially distance, except if you go to most places. <laughs> anyway, ha have fun out there. After the announcement, President Biden told Americans to take off your mask and smile, even though take it off and smile is the first example in every workplace harassment seminar. <laughs> Senator Mitch McConnell, seen here watching a poor family get evicted on Christmas Eve. <laughs> He reacted, he reacted to the news that masks were no longer required by lowering his mask and saying, free at last, which is so wildly tone deaf. It's like if Matt Gates took off his mask and said, I feel like a kid again. According to recent studies, men who have had COVID can experience erectile dysfunction, and some have even reported a decrease in the size of their penis. Now, that's how you sell some masks. <laughs> I mean, Fauci, you want people to get vaccinated, you need to run with this. Forget <laughs> stop the spread. It should be stop the shrink. <laughs> The CDC said that a number of new studies show that the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines are effective against new variants of COVID. The CDC also said that the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is trying really hard, you guys. <laughs> a new study also says that after restrictions are lifted, 60% of Americans want to try something new this summer. But not that, said your girlfriend. <laughs> House Republicans voted to remove Liz Cheney from her party leadership role after she continued to challenge Donald Trump's lie that the election was stolen. Wow, you know, I never thought I'd find myself feeling bad for Liz Cheney, and I was right, I don't. <laughs> IBM announced that it has created the world's smallest and most powerful microchip. Not now. <laughs> House Minority Whip Steve Scalise released a letter outlining the Republican agenda, which includes stopping Nancy Pelosi's socialist agenda. Oh, please. The only way Nancy Pelosi has a socialist agenda is if socialist is the name of a restaurant in Napa Valley. 